auntie sister mama this hope you guys are doing great as for me i'm doing fine thank you all happy new month to you happy new month of august month of freedom month of praise month of blessings month full with full packages thank you thank you today let's talk about five laws of relationship because in this period this is a period of relationship you understand the weather is so nice now so anywhere you go hello 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 so you know love is a sign of maturity you cannot love god without loving the person that you are seeing without loving your neighbor your friends the children of god that you're seeing so it's very impossible for you to say i love god when you actually haven't loved me that you're seeing this cause for patience love cause for patience it calls for forgiveness so there's a lot to it it calls for tolerance if we are to fellowship with one another you understand so now let us examine ourselves because you know it's not he that points the finger first that is always correct or that person that accuses first that is always right you understand so now let's examine ourselves because hebrew 13 verse 1 and 2 says let brotherly love continue so that is all we care about to let love reign in our midst so when we say let's examine ourselves in examining ourselves you will know that number one law of relationship is be at peace with one another you have to be at peace with one another if you want to be in a healthy relationship whether in marriage relationship among colleagues among friends among everybody your church members anywhere you go in this world as far as you are living on earth you have to live you, you have to live with peace you understand because that's what the bible said we say we should be at peace with one another that you will find in matthew chapter 9 you understand verse 50 so go and read it at your spare time but before I progress, are you at peace with everybody? That's my question to you. So you can answer it as you are watching it. Are you at peace with everyone? Can you call yourself a peacemaker? So number two, God says, love one another. So some people, they tend to misunderstand what this verse is actually telling us. In John chapter 13, verse 34 you will also find it is fair if first Corinthians 13 verse 1 you understand he said we should love one another in loving one another it doesn't necessarily mean that everybody has to be your friend you just need to love everybody whether you like it or not but everyone cannot be your friend you understand so i have a question for you do you love everybody can you answer that for yourself do you love everybody? Let's go there. And number three says we should be devoted to one another. Romans 12 10 says it. Say we should be devoted to one another. Are you devoted to one another? Can somebody count on you? Can they say, Ah, Mama D, don't worry, she's there. She will definitely do this. Can somebody count on you? Can your children, your husband, your wife, your friends, your pastors, your your fellow colleagues at work, can they count on you to say, ah, don't worry, she's there. I know she's a devoted one. So, do you honor everybody? The English people say we should give honor to who honor is due. Do you honor people? Do you honor people? Do you honor everybody? Okay, number four. So, number four that I have said live in harmony with one another live in harmony Romans 12 verse 16 no matter what let's try and be there for one another let's try and live in harmony I know some people can be saucy there are a lot of people that like to bring you that it doesn't matter 
Hello, hello. It's enough. Good morning, good morning. Everybody cannot be your friend, but you need to love everybody. You need to live in harmony with them. So with this, I'm asking you, are you in speaking terms with others? Ask yourself now, Christian mama, Christian sister. Are you speaking with them? Or you are saying, no, 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 no. Let them do their own. I'm, I'm too posh for that. Please. I don't like this person. I don't want to talk to this person. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says we should live in harmony with So that is why I ask you, are you speaking things with others? So answer it in your bedroom. And number five, this is where I will stop today. I will still come around normally. There are 26 laws of relationship. But for this today, I'm just only treating five. So the rest, I will take it in my live stream. And I will do a video of it as well. And number five, this is where I'm going to stop. It says, stop passing judgment or criticizing others because that is what we are so good at. We like to judge people, we like to criticize them. We always see the bad, the negative, we never see the good of anybody. We are always the best, the perfect ones. Any as anyone, anybody else, as they say, is a counterfeit. Anything they does, no, no, it doesn't count. What is that? Oh, oh, oh. You know, we are the posh ones. So, please, guys, let's stop passing judgment and let's stop criticizing one another. That you will find also in the book of Romans 14 13. You understand? So, do you speak evil of people? That's my question for the day. Do you speak evil of people even when they haven't done anything wrong? Even if they have done you wrong? Do they deserve to be spoken of in a bad way, in an evil way, forgetting that nobody is perfect? That is the question I'm asking you today. Are you perfect? Do you speak evil of people? Evil at, in, their, in their front or in their back? Because a lot of people, they are fond of being friends at your presence. When you are there, they are your friends, they can hug you. Ah, Mama D, you are so lovely. Oh, I like you, I love you, Mama D. But once Mama D is not there anymore, at Mama D's back, are you such a person? If you are such a one, change. Because that is the constant thing in life. You have to change. There's still time for you. There's still hope for you to change your ways. You understand? So with this, I'm going to say bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, like, comment, and share to your friends and family. Thank you very much. I love you all, but Jesus loves you best. Till I come your way next time. Bye.